the SMD meter first. As you can see, it's pretty accurate with our eyeballs versus what you. Is that the 10 so kit or the 12? Th this is the 10. Okay. So this is the 10 inch comp RT driver with the 10 inch passive radiator. And so I'm starting at 210 hertz. Um, we're at five ohms at 210 hertz. Maybe Timmy can get a, a close up on that in there, but we're, get my lead out of the way there. And then I'm just gonna start dialing the frequency. Here, I'll move around front so you can get a better view of that. So I'll just start dialing the frequency down. You got a good shot on that, Tim? Okay. So there we're at 93 hertz, we're at 2.9 ohms. 81 hertz, we're at 3.3. 72 hertz, we're at 7.0. Keep going down. 61 hertz, we're at 6.2. There's 54 hertz, we're at 3.5. So starting to climb down again. There were 2.9, 2.8, 2.7. Okay, so 2.9. It's starting, as you can see, it's climbing back up. So now we're down to 30 hertz, so it's climbed back up to 12 ohms. So I'm gonna come back the other direction. 3.3, so 3.3 looks to be about the low, there's 3.2, so right about 38 hertz. So that is the tuning frequency. Two point nine, so 40, and there's gonna be a, a range in there. I mean, it's not just gonna be like a, a solid pinpoint, but you can see it's right in that 38 to 40 hertz range. So there's 3.2, 3, 2.9, and then climbing back up. So we're at that 38 to 40 hertz range, so that's the tuning on the dual 10 enclosure. And of course, it's a smaller driver. Uh, you're gonna get a little higher resonance out of it, of it versus the 12. When we did the 12, it was a little lower tuning frequency. But this, I don't mean for this to sound like an infomercial for Steve Mead products, but <laughs> he makes some fantastic testing tools. And it's really nice that we can actually use these in the studio. We can show you these type of things in the products and talk tuning frequency and things like that. But this is another wonderful tool from SMD. And hopefully you can see, you know, if you don't have a tool like this, you can always get test tones. You can throw those on a you know, USB thumb drive. You can get apps on your phone to get to all the different frequencies that are available. Um, and you can see what the tuning is on a, a ported box or a passive radiator box simply by starting, uh, you know, don't, don't play it too loud. You don't want to smoke your woofers. I mean, a constant sine wave at high, high output is really bad on a subwoofer. Um, but, you know, pick a good volume and you can just sit there and watch. And when you see your woofer basically stop moving, it comes to a standstill, and you may see one at a higher frequency. Just keep on going down because you're going to have another node resonance up there. But keep on coming down. You're going to be in that, you know, 30 to 50 hertz area, which is where typically a subwoofer and two closures tuned. And you're going to find that frequency. When that woofer stops moving and nulls out, that's going to be your tuning frequency. It's a real good visual. And it's nice to back it up with a tool like this at tuning frequency, doing it the old school way. We're actually driving the tone in there. You can see when you get to tuning, the PR is doing all the work, the passive radiator, and the port would be doing the same thing. And the speaker's barely moving. And then when you start going below that tuning frequency, the passive radiator, it keeps moving, but it changes slightly, and then the woofer, it starts doing a lot more work. And then you get back to that point where it's, it's tuned, the woofer hardly moves, and the passive's doing all the work, and then start climbing in frequency, the opposite starts happening.